guys, today's tutorial we're going to change this car, turn it into a cartoon. First thing we're going to do, we're going to duplicate the background layer. Now we're going to hide the background layer, the new one that we just put down. And we're going to cover in this area and this area, both sides of the car. Because basically what we're going to be doing, we're going to cut out the car. And then we're going to manipulate it and put it back into this background. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to use the clone stamp tool here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to continue like this. I'm just going to cover up a lot of this area, a lot of this tree, because it's a lot harder trying to fix up everything else here with the tree. It's, it's pretty much, it's too hard. It's, unless I duplicate the other side. Okay, so I'm going to continue like this, go down, I'm covering the car. And I'm just going to cover up this whole entire area with the tree. I know I'm doing this very quickly, but yeah, you get the idea of what I'm talking about this way, it's a lot easier, quicker. All right, now I'm just going to go over here I'm going to clone stamp tool the bottom part here like that and just put it over the top of something because it's like a preview there. I'm just going to copy that. Right, we're going to fix that up with the clone stamp with the content aware. That's all the grids fixed. That's all to be done. I'm going to go back to the clone stamp tool. I'm going to go right on that corner there. That's basically where we want it. Bring that there. Clone stamp tool is a great tool to be used for things like this. Okay. Right on like that. Now of course with clone stamp tool you're gonna get something that's gonna repeat all the time. The trick is to Make sure before you do it, before you do a stamp, that the area you're going to copy is um, hasn't got repetitive parts in it. I'm just going to change the brush size, make it bigger. I'm just going to fill in those areas like that. All right, so I'm going to go back up out. I'm going to duplicate this area and put it over there. So I'll copy it like that and paste it. I'll put that over here. And basically what I'm doing, I'm just matching up where the footpath is. Yeah, that looks good. I'm not going to worry too much about the top party because I'm going to get rid of that. Like that, can get rid of it. I'll just use the eraser tool just to erase that part. So it looks the same, if you know what I mean. Right, the background, the top one, I'm just going to select all and delete. It's all right, once you've deleted it, you've actually copied it. So I'm just going to flatten the layer, flatten image, and paste. There you go. Remember that? That's the thing that we actually deleted. All right, so we go back to this layer. We're just going to work on the background a little bit more. Um, just a little bit more, not too much. Okay, I'm going to select around here. I'm just going to go to Content Aware. I'm going to go to Fill, Edit, Fill, Content Aware. And what that'll do, that'll blend in both sides there quite good. Unfortunately, it's picked up some of that as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this tool, which is the Content Aware tool. And I'll use the other one as well, the patch. Bring it across like that. And that's a little bit more realistic to what we want. Okay. So that's looking good. Now, go back to the original image. Now what we're going to be doing here, we're going to remove the car from the background. 
A lot of different ways of doing that. I'm just going to go very quickly around it with the lasso tool. Like that, and then I'm going to hit mask. Right. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right around the whole entire thing with the pen tool. So just bear with me for a second. I'm just going to get the pen tool and I'm just going to go click, click, click in the middle, hold down the command key, and you can move the curve around. Do that, do that. I'm going to go right around the whole entire car and I'll fast forward the video at this stage so you don't have to go through this little slow process. Okay, now I've gone all the way right around and I've clicked on the beginning one as well, the point. I'm going to right click here, make selection, make sure the feather radius is zero, hit OK. Now that part of the car, the whole entire car, has been selected. Now what I can do, I can copy and paste a selection. Okay, now what I want to do, I'm just going to get the picture of the background, take that out of the way. Okay, now turn the background on. Now, select tool with the top one, the one that we've actually changed. Hold down the shift key, and we're just going to maneuver it into position. A bit bigger. So basically what I'm doing, I want to keep the shadow underneath the car. Underneath there, I want to keep that shadow there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it like that. And basically I'm just covering the car on both sides. Okay. That's looking good. Right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off all these layers, go back to the one that we just masked. I'm going to do a copy of one of the wheels, not both of them. I only need a copy of one. Once again, get the pen tool and go to the curvature pen tool. Start from the top, like that. A little bit more. Little bit more. Because we've got mask, that's why it's doing this. i go back to the end. All right, so we can make this bigger as we like. Let's get the whole entire wheel in there. That looks good. It's good that we've got the ground in there as well. That's good. That's what we want. Okay. So we got that. Now we right click. Make selection. Yes. And copy. Paste. And turn off that one. And turn on the soft one. All right, now get the selection tool, put it in the car, underneath the car, and we make it bigger. Like that. Now, with the car itself, we might have to make them a little bit bigger that way. So it fits in. Good. We'll go back to the wheel. Okay, and then we go back to the wheel, the wheel, the wheel, thank you. And hold down the shift key and narrow it down a bit. But basically what we want to do, we want to get the wheel right inside there, matching so it doesn't go behind the blue there. So we're going to go select all and copy. Oops. Select all, copy, paste. And make sure you turn that background off. And we'll put him about there. Put the front back on. And we'll just put him matching about that. That's looking good. We'll put it like that. Yeah, see, that's the I think it's better with the big eh, could be alright like that. 
I was going to do the other way around, just have it going straight up inside, the wheels going straight up inside. If yours go up inside, it looks a bit more like a roller skate, doesn't it? That way. That looks good. Alright, now the background layer. I'm just going to turn all these off and turn this one back on. Unlink that, unlink that. Right, okay. Okay. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to get black and what I'm going to do underneath these, I'm just going to hit another layer, put it underneath there. Nice thick brush. I'm just going to colour in this part here. It's a little bit see through. And there as well. Alright, so that's looking good. Uh, we'll just send that background layer back on. Yeah, with the car, with the wheels. See how you can still see a wheel there? Just going to maneuver it a little bit like that. The car's going to be able to be maneuvered as well. And so forth with this one. Now that's looking quite cool. And if you want, you can actually, it's a good idea, you can actually do this and put some shadows in there on top of the wheels. And that's pretty straightforward. So what we do, we get the actual, this part, the car, and we copy just that section, because that's what's going to be the shadow. All right, we copy that, and paste it and drag it underneath the one, but it's still on top of the wheels. We're going to go to Control, Control Shift U, turn it to grayscale, as you can see. Put that back up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it down. Instead of converting it to black straight away, I like to do it this way so it's lighter and you can see what you're actually working with. I'll land the shift key and bring it back in a bit. So I'll get like that. Take the black out like that. Oh, that looks good. Now what I'll do, um, I go to image adjustments and levels. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the sliders up to the right. This is black. Now I'm just going to take the opacity down a bit, about 64%, and I'm going to blur that filter, blur, reaction blur. And we don't want that high. Go, or something like that. That looks good. Now the other side, go back to the actual rim of the car itself, or the actual body of the car. And just go around and just trace around that edge like that. Select it, copy and paste. Again, convert to a grayscale part. Command Shift U. And we drag it underneath the car body one. And just use the arrow keys just to bring it down. That's good. Image adjustments, levels, and put your levels all the way up to the right. Okay. Bring the opacity down to 60 odd percent, 62, 64. And because we've already used Caucasian Blur before, we can use it again. We don't have to go through the whole entire process again. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the colour of the car. Because it looks too realistic, too much like the real thing, the original thing. So we're just going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Hue and Saturation. On the bottom left here, the Hue and Saturation, you've got the little finger tip. Just click on the blue. And then we're up the top here, the view, we can start changing that. That's a red colour. Let's make it a nice pink. It's like a purplish pink. Saturation, we can change that whichever way you want. Have it like that. A bit brighter. 
that looks good. Looks quite cool. <laughs> and then we can change to the wheels. And we can do the same type of thing with the wheels if we want. Hue and saturation. Put the saturation up a bit. And we can change the color of the wheel if we want. We're not going to change the color of the wheel. I think we're just going to make it a bit more bluish. That'll do. And the other one, we're going to do the same thing. Probably can't see much of a difference on YouTube. But yeah, there is a bit of a difference, especially with yeah. But there we go, guys. There's the car tune. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.